what are you going to do at Asan Mansu? Asan Mansu is where we have the one of the largest slave markets. Yeah. And then we'll see the slave water also. So when you go there, we're going to uh, see all the things over there and we experience them. There's a, we're going to give you some time for a little meditation. And from there, hey, Mohammed, you are laughing too much. Hey. Thank you. <laughs> Like Sometimes I just want to create some humor, human humor sense, you know, then we all have here. Thank you. Um, so, from Asim and so, we are, we're going to continue to Kumasi, but we're going to have some stops, uh, washroom stops on the way. Uh, thank you so much. The washroom stops is going to be on a gas station. We're going to stop for washroom. Thank you. Okay, having said this, uh, let's go to our affirmation. <laughs> Page 58. Page 58. <laughs> and um, this one is. It's the eight. Okay, I think we've said this. So, uh, let's use uh, page six. Uh, sorry, day six. I am spirit and naturally enlightened. I am spirit and naturally enlightened. I am spirit and naturally enlightened. Can we all say this? I am spirit. I am spirit. I go. Okay, so say this after me. I am spirit. I am spirit. And naturally enlightened. And naturally enlightened. I am spirit. I am spirit. And naturally enlightened. Naturally enlightened. I am spirit. I am spirit. And naturally enlightened. And naturally enlightened. Can someone share with us? I am spirit and naturally enlightened. Thank you, sir. I am spirit and naturally enlightened. An enlightened spirit cannot be enslaved. Sure. Okay. Should I come to the back? Yes. Uh, please, can you send it to the back? Yes, I like this smile. Yes. <laughs> so funny. is true. You have spirit 
you have soul and you have the body. But naturally, you are enlightened in so many areas. You are enlightened because God has built in you something. It differs from one to the other. And that God inbuilt thing enlightens you, opens your mind, opens yourself wherever you find yourself. You see, sometimes you might like to do something and another thing comes, don't do it and say, do it and don't, don't do it. The right spirit will give you the direction to become naturally enlightened for you to do the right thing at the right time. Thank you. <laughs> On the very first day, when we were going to the mountains to see the children, the orphanage home, there is something that I said. But I'm still expecting that question. I said, people ask a certain question, especially those who have been in Ghana for the first time. There is a certain question that people ask. So I'm expecting that question. <laughs> About really the expect. tree? Come again. About the tree? About oh, wives? not the tree. Oh, okay. About wives? Oh, no, we'll talk about that. Oh, yeah. We'll talk about that. Okay, how many of you want me to talk about it? About wives. Okay, those who want me to talk about wives, say yeah. yeah. Those who doesn't want me to talk about wives, say whoa. No. At least I see the door is very low. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all the men said yeah, but you know, the women either we were quiet and we said no. Oh, some women said yeah. Yeah, one, one woman said yeah. Woman said, okay, I'm quiet, oh, I'm not surprised. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let me zoom straight into it. Um. I know you have heard and read that in Africa, men marries more than one wife. Yes. Is it true or yes? It's true. It's true. Yes. Uh, now we will, I'm going to lecture. Why is it that men were allowed to marry more than one wife? But before I go on, how many couples do we have? We have about four couples. And, uh, oh, five, sorry. And the good thing is that all the couples are on my right hand side. <laughs> oh, just check and see. Nobody put them there, but they're on the right hand side. Uh, singles, are you there? How many singles do we have? We're all on we the other side. No, but he's them. married, he's not with somebody. Yeah, the wife is not, so he's single for now. He's single for now. We are not going to give him a wife. Unless, unless he sees me. The wife is married, but he's single. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Okay. Can you imagine? Let me ask those who are with the wives. Let me ask the women first. Just, if I'm asking a question, just look straight into my eye. Don't look at your husband. <laughs> just look at me. Would you like to have a rival? No. Yes, would you like your husband to marry another wife? No. Yes, madam. Yeah. Pass it on. We would like to hear from you. I think it would be a great idea. So all the cooking and cleaning will be 
done by someone else How other shared. than me. Yeah, they can share. 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 Yeah, I don't want to use the white man's word polygamy. But queen mother. Queen mother. Okay. Uh, uh, can someone also share her view? Okay. We want to hear from you. At the back. You do have a view. That's his one. You have a view? Go ahead and share. You want to hear I don't think. Switch to the man. Uh oh. Okay. Man, let me hear from you. Don't look at your wife's face and change your mind in the bus, but it's just a lecture. There is something that you call icebreaker. I'm just doing icebreaker. Yes, please, to get all of us our attention. I would like to hear from the man whether they will allow life to marry another wife to have two wives or more who will start for us are you going to start for us yeah we're having a discussion so you like to know whether you like to have another wife as a second wife or third wife, or have a girl who I don't know, I'll go there. Okay, let's hear from you. I'm satisfied with one wife, but I would have a system money expert. I'm satisfied with one wife. Can you hear you? I said they can't hear you. I'll tell you, I'm satisfied with one wife. Uh -huh. I would Thank never you. have two wives. Uh -huh. Thank you. He has one wife, but you like to have. Yeah, because he doesn't want to pay the. the, the okay, let me put it this way. Wow. He has a farm. I would like to have a garden in the house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to have a... <laughs> okay, someone else. Let's, 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 let's share. Any of the men? Okay. We want the men. Yes. Sorry. You gotta be careful yeah. now. Yes, sir. Eating. She's eating. It's an old saying. Uh -huh. I can only deal with one headache at a time. Uh -huh. <laughs> Are you, are you sure that are you sure you are not saying this because she's just by you? <laughs> okay. What's it? <laughs> yes, sir. I think the only thing better than one wife uh -huh. is another wife. Hey! Hey! Thank you. Another Thank you. Wife. Tell us your idea. Yeah. Right. Well, the way I look at it is uh, family is business. So if I took a second wife, it would be more of a business purpose. I would make sure that they both have their own homes. Excuse me. My own, their own home and their own sources of income. Whether it be family business, and we would bring those children up accordingly. Because I went to school to be an educator, so I'm very good at teaching kids um, and business. So if I did it, it would be more strategic for business and build a dynasty. Right. Thank you. Right. Let's put your hands together for you. Yeah. 
as a single woman. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. I like what you said because there's too many single women out here that don't have a man to take care of them. Right. However, <laughs> but. However, but. I would have to have a second man, so uh -huh. here you go. <laughs> Good luck finding that. <laughs> no, no, no. You can have a second woman. Yeah. I can have a second man. Okay. Let's, let me married. tackle. I, won't, I don't live with like that. Would like you really like to respond to that? I think that's a good idea. Me and typically. You're not going to find too many men that will go for a situation like this. Exactly. Because, one, the demographics. There's more women on the planet Earth than men. Yeah. That's one. And then two, men are capable of maintaining a dynasty. Women, not so much. What? Not so much. Nowadays, because we're showing that in America right now with the decay of our communities. So the, 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 the communities now have been ran by females for quite a while. And we see a lot of decay. So I would say, if those women wouldn't mind being with one man and they all committed themselves equitably, that I believe we can change the dynamic in these communities, period. Thank you, thank you. Uh -huh. You cannot produce equity in an inequitable situation. So you, assume, so you assume that the man needs are being met? I assume the woman's needs can be met by one man. All those women's needs can be met by one man. Okay, Break hold fire. Yeah, yeah, hold that, hold that. Hold fire, hold fire, hold fire. Yeah. Brother woman, you haven't heard from me on this, on this situation. Well, you already know this point. Would you like to have another wife? Well, my hero is uh, Shabazz, uh, so I want to be the rest. I want to be the rest one half. All my wives working in here. There's nothing in here. Nothing in here. Now I'm saying uh, my good brother there, uh, one African Shabazz, is one of my uh, one of my heroes, and uh, I want to be just like him. I want to have a, a, a restaurant and have all my wives working in here. He <laughs> said, Shabazz is his hero. Russia Bass is his hero. And uh I found that he buried him in the city. See all those children belong to one man. That's right. Yeah. That, that's that, that's okay. empire. <laughs> is building a community. Russia yeah. <laughs> Bass, I like this guy so much. And uh he has more than one wife. He has, uh, he has two wives. Yeah. And there is no rivalry. There is no competition. So, uh, he married one, and later he saw that he needed another one, and he went for the second one, and both of them are there. They were best friends before they Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, <laughs> let me tell you the reason why I don't see how people do it. Our forefathers instituted this multiple marriage for men. In the olden days, there was numerous of war, one attacking each other, and the soldiers are the youth, especially the young men in the community. The more children you have, the more soldiers you have that will protect you. Right. So if you have one wife that has one child, there will be a problem. What about if that child is a female? Yep. Females are not allowed to fight war. So you, the man in the community, you have refused to contribute to the soldiers. That will protect each and every one. You will be considered as a wicked person. That's right. That's right. Bro. Two, during this war, 
if you have not married you will not be counted as a soldier you should be a married person and this married person the reason is that when you are fighting you get more to fight for you think about your wife at home yep. so that you play safe save your life and come and meet your wife at home for your wife to shower blessings on you also during the war all the soldiers who are fighting they are wise have to do something for their husbands what do they do they curse their enemies at 12 midnight all the women have to come out and pray curse their enemies so that their enemies will lose the war if you are not married who is going to do it for you if you have one wife that means going to hear from only one person if you have two three wives all of them are praying for you more prayers for you please. let's put that on our side two in the olden days there are a lot of epidemics and when there is an epidemic it kills children not adults if you have one wife one child or two children and you are affected by these epidemics you have if they die you have put all your basket uh, your all your uh, eggs in one basket and it's gone forever can you think about if your kids are 11 years old 12 years meaning that you have to start again all your 12 years is gone for nothing and you cannot recoup it in the olden days three men are supposed to farm and feed their children and wife if you have one wife and then uh, one child if you can weed one acre your wife can weed half an acre you have one and a half acres how much product are you going to get from that? It's going to be a big problem for you. I'm the Inuku of one thing, you see, I'm calling me doctor. It's going to be, uh, 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 you're not going to get much money. If you have three wives, two wives, and you have three each, You have three each, the children. Uh, can you hear me from behind? Okay. And you have three each. You have nine children. Plus you yourself, 10. Plus your three wives, making 13. So meaning that you are going to get about 13 acres of products from the farm the more you farm the more you get in africa human beings are considered as an asset not money not material things material things may come and go there is a, a proverb that says that money has wings. You may have so much money now. Within the shortest possible time, the money can fly. Yep. If you have more children, and then some of them even passed on, at least some will remain to comfort you. Let us look at insurance. Our great great grandparents were having great foresight that in the near future, they and their wives, there will be no insurance for them. How can we get insurance? So, if you marry more and give more uh, birth to more children, 
if all of them are working, let's take for let's use the word 10. You have 10 kids. All of them are working. And at the end of every month, each and every one brings you hundred dollars. How many dollars do you have? Thousand dollars. Free. No tax. Nothing. Remember I said. There is a proverb also that says that if your mother or your parents have taken care of you to grow teeth, take care of them to lose their teeth. Meaning that they have taken care of you, taught you, now you are an adult. You also have to teach, uh, uh, give whatever you have for them also before they expire. So as you being the man and you have three wives all the wives respect you you cannot marry three wives at a go the very first wife that you marry she will be with you in the olden days i'm talking about 200 years 300 years 180 even 50 years ago Currently, this town still exists in some uh, tribes and religions as still exist. One, after the war, there is a war, the war we've won. Those who lost their lives, the soldiers, I told you that if you are not married, you will not be considered as a man until you get married. Those who lost their lives, their wives, who married them? And in our society, we have to make sure someone takes care of that woman. So that woman will be given to someone, a soldier, to continue the genealogy of the one who has passed. Sometimes, your own brother. Your brother. If your brother lose, uh, uh, no, sorry. If your brother uh, uh, has gotten married and then he passed on, what happened? The woman will be given to you to continue the genealogy of your brother. So, if you have one wife and your brother passed on, they are going to give you another wife. You have already have two wives. After the war, the women who got married, their husbands are dead. They will also give you one. You have three wives. <coughs> because there is no promiscuity in our society, <laughs> someone <laughs> should to take care of the woman someone need to take care of the woman and so far as there are men there they have to take care of the woman traditionally and there are rights that you have to go through before they hand the woman over to you so in all this the fourth thing that i'm going to talk about is if you are a chief or a king Already you have one wife. Currently, I'm from a royal family. If I have one wife, sorry, and then my uncle passed on, I can be selected to become the next chief or the next king. I already have one wife. They were Give me a stool wife. The stool that you are going to set on to adjudicate, they need to give you a stool wife. So you will get two wives. In the Islamic religion, every man is entitled to four wives. Four. So far as you can take good care of them, you have no problem. You can go for them. Betrayal. 
and, and, and a man of, let's say, 35 years can see a girl about 20, 18, 15 years said, I want to marry this girl. He goes to the parents. You are not going to pay the bride price, but you take care of the girl. When the girls come of age, then you can go and pay the bride price and claim as your wife. So you may have one wife, but you have additional wife making two wives. How many of us have heard of King Moshoshu of Swaziland? He is an African. How many wives does King Moshoshu have? 20 wives. The last one was an 18 year old girl. In Moshoshu of Swaziland, 18 wives. Yes, madam. Yeah. So they didn't change the country name. No longer Swaziland. No, it's still Swaziland. Yeah. Why do the wives? Why do they marry the girls so young? Okay, I'll talk about that. That's the next subject. Okay, hold on. I will tell you and you understand. With your first wife, you are my first wife. We go to farm. Both of us go to farm. When we come, it is your duty to prepare a food for me to eat and the children. It is your duty to clean the bowls, uh, clean the house, sweep every morning. If this continues for some time, you will be tired. And it should. Definitely you will be tired. Everybody is playing his or her role. The man is supposed to provide money for you to cook. The man is supposed to protect you spiritually, physically, morally, psychologically, and mentally. So the men have a lot of tasks over you. Yours is to feed them, make sure they are, the room is clean, you clean the bowls, the compound is clean, and then... Surely you jest. In the Surely night, you jest. <laughs> in the night, you also have to perform your night duty. Give me this microphone. <laughs> Let me tell you something. First of all, there are women warriors in history on this continent. That's the first thing. So there are women warriors. And while I have absolutely no problem if a man wants multiple wives, if he can afford them, my issue is that women under this description that we've heard today, have the role only of breeders and cleaners, workers of the field, breeders and cleaners. And God did not make a woman to be confined to just those duties. I refuse to believe that God did not give me a brain to think, that God did not give me free will, and while I want to be respectful of men, I should not have to be dependent. And so it's just like the trainings that we've heard that we have to unlearn. Give and me the I, no. I did not finish. I did not finish. I did not finish. I am not saying that. I'm saying the descriptions we heard of women. I have no. I have no. You should have me to finish. Yeah. But you had gone on for a long time. No. I've got. I was moving from the stage to stage. Moving Say from the stage to stage. <laughs> you not taking out the men that way. The men has to protect. The man can have, have to afford yeah, to fight the wars. Two wives. I might only need one wife, but that doesn't mean that you. you, you, you I you, am. You are I am not talking about the number of oh, wives. Okay. I'm talking about the description of the worth and value of the woman. 
That's what I'm talking about. And the only descriptions I have heard refer to breathing and cleaning and cooking. There has been no valuing of her brain as a strategic part of anything. So you don't need a brain to cook? Oh, please. I'm just asking you. You don't need a brain to I am, I am. Continue, sir. Continue, man. Continue, sir. You need a brain to cook. Wow, I love, I love. You're saying that you are, you are And that's why, in, and you you what you believe in the Bible, the men, who, what, what's her name, who when she died, she was, her father only had girls. Yeah. Yeah. Esther, no. Is it, is it Deborah? Yeah. Deborah. Let's go by the Only had <laughs> girls. Yeah. And they want the men wanted to give the inheritance to someone else. Yeah. She had to fight for what was hers. Yeah. And I think that we have to stop making women fight so hard for basic kinds of rights and equality. And that and she got it. She got you, it. You just relax. You just relax. Yeah, I can't well, relax. Yeah. Good, good relax and then let You whip me up into a lap. No. No. <laughs> no. But that's good. You ain't get her up. That's good. Because she do not believe that, that to cook for a man and I eat from you. You don't use your brain no. and that is not and a powerful not tool. That's not the point. This is what, what is I the point? That's not the that's point. Not the point. That's the that's point, that's point is this. But they're what, gonna, they're would, gonna you also, would you also would you also help I me wish, to know? I wish I wish I would have finished I wish you would have been well, a single woman. I Maybe wish now after have... Maroon the warrior was a single woman. Okay, hold on, hold fire. Be single, strong woman. Hold, hold fire, you, you hold fire. fire hold fire, but hold fire, let me let me finish with that. You hold fire, let me finish with that. Okay? And then the understanding uh welcome. Uh, so I first down. said, I first said, 200, 300, uh, 90, 80 years ago. Yes. Is that not what I said? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I have not talked Olden about days. presents. Yes. Oh, we that. That. Then I said, Olden days. some of them are still continuing yes. with yes. us. Yeah. So be safe if you want. Okay, let me go on. Yeah, don't be safe. The woman in the house is the administrator yeah. of the house. She administers everything in the house, even the dress that you're going to wear. Yeah. So if you are not brilliant yeah. or very sharp, your husband will go out and then someone <laughs> is going to talk about you, the wife yeah. in the house. Oh that is why I said, let me finish and then you will know. If we are not saying that women are ostracized, no. No. They are the administrators of the house. And they're the doctors of the house. They are the doctors of the house. Thank you, brother. So they don't know that though, but it's all right. See, there are a lot of things that the women do in the house. Also, after doing all this, the woman tells the husband, I'm talking about the how do we uh, uh, this with you. The second wife coming out with the second wife. <laughs> if the woman, after all this, in the night also, she perform her night duties. Yes. She tells the husband, you know, uh, based on this and this and this, I always get tired. As a result of that, I need a companion. I need someone to help me. Yeah, you need tag team. Now, the woman has been with the man for such a long time, or some time. So, traditionally, it is the woman who goes around and looks for another person who looks like her, who has the same uh, 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 character and yeah. attributes like her, and recommend this woman to the husband. That's right. If the husband agrees, then they have to go and pay the dowry. Yep. It is most of times, it is not the man who come out to say, I want this woman. No. No. The woman knows the man's character, he knows the colors, he knows the type of food that the man likes, he knows and everything. And she knows his finances. Oh, yes.
because he needs the man approval because of the finances. And the man will say, yes, go ahead. The second wife that is coming, she is going to be a helper to the first wife. Yes. So the first wife sets this woman down on knowing to the man, this is just between two women. And the first wife said, you know what? I've been the senior, we have seven days. So he is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. He is for me. I go to his bedroom. Friday, Saturday, Saturday is for you. You go to his bedroom. I am going to sweep here. You are going to clean this and do this and that. So some of the burden are shared off to the other woman. And all this has been done by the first wife. Are you still talking history or today? Today and history. You're talking about today now. I'm talking about ancient or some years today, ago. Today. And thus, I haven't gotten to today. <laughs> no more than no. Yes. Take your time. Even up to Take your time, 40, 50 Take your years. Time. Okay. So after a woman doing all this, and the woman sees that, so the farming business, we need a hand. It is difficult at that time to go and rent some or hire someone to work for you. So you need your own people to work for you. Who are these people? Your children and your right. wives. That's right. And they need the more farming you have, the more worthy you are. The more wealthy you at are. the end of every year, whatever proceeds that you've gotten from the farm, the first wife has a budget. She will bring a budget, second wife will bring the budget, and then you, the man, have to foot their budget. That's right. If the first wife needs uh, 10 pieces of cloth, the second wife has no a right to say I also need 10 eight pieces. pieces. You have to go below. Yeah, eight pieces. I need eight, I need six. Yours should not be more expensive than the first wife. Correct. If the first wife need shoe, three shoes, you can also say I need one or two. It shouldn't go above them. The first wife may say we have five children, I have three, you have two. The first wife is cleaning the children. The second wife is cooking. There is no rivalry. Right. There is no jealousy. It's teamwork. They work together. It's a teamwork, thank you, brother. It's like 100 by four race. It's a teamwork. One of them have to go down, start with speed, hand over the baton and then you continue and then they finish. So if you marry more than one wife, the first wife has a trump card. Yes, she does. More than any of them. If there is still enough room for the third wife, it is the first wife who will tell the second wife, hey, you know what, all be, though we've been doing this and this, we need another person to come and take care of this. And then, they will, before they, 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 both of them have discussed it before they tell the husband. So go ahead, you are the administrator, I have nothing to say. Then they will have to go in for another woman who has the same character. Yes, please. marry for love, but we marry for procreation, right. to have more children who are your insurance, who are going to help you, the father and the mother, to be someone in future. 
to ultimately protect the state. So, I also said, at that time there was nothing like insurance companies, but our great, great, great grandparents have in mind insurance. So if you have more children, that is your insurance. If someone is going to fight you, they are there to protect you. Someone is going to take something from your hand, they are there to protect you. No matter how strong you are. In those days, they give birth to 20, 30, 35 children with four or five wives. Yeah. My parents, my father, had my mother and gave birth to 12 children, one woman. The second wife gave birth to five children. How many are we? 17. 17. 17 so far, let me say. It's almost a football team. Five. Oh, it's more. We have a football team and, and a reserve. Yeah. <laughs> uh, four passed on. Four has passed on. And we are 13 still alive. And all of us are working. When my father was alive, always, every uh, uh, month, every year, we shower so much blessings on both of them. That's right. My mother and then the other woman, and we just go there, give it to them, and then that's all. Yeah. So these are some of the things or the reasons why our great grandparents instituted multiple marriage. It was not just for, uh, uh, um, I sex. mean, fun. Yeah, sex. It wasn't for basically love. Yeah. Those days, let's come back to modern world. In a modern world, what we see? One, a big jealousy for everything. Well, you love that person now. This person has this. Yeah, I love Even among two women. This person have this. I should also get this. I should get more than this. This man has this. I should also get more than this. Jealousy sets in. Currently, if you have one wife, okay, let me just go a little bit back. If you're a man and you get married to one wife, what happened? The economy is getting harder and harder. So it is so difficult for you to bring in another woman where they are going to give you or present heaven to you as hell. Right. You the man who never have peace. <laughs> if two women are quarreling, it's so serious than two men. You, the man, you never have peace. Two, religion. Islamic religion cannot go more than four wives. Maximum four, one to four. And you should be worthy to be able to take care of these four wives. You can marry them and maltreat them or mistreat them. No way. You have to take good care of all the four no matter what. In the olden days, all of them live in one house. Currently, some live in the same house. Most of them, more than one wife, the wife will be here and then the other wife will be here to separate them from jealousy. Uh, bra bra uh, 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 Bomani says something, and it's true. Brother Shabazz, one Africa. For example, he has more than one wife. And you will never know when you go there and you see these women working together in love, in unison. You will love them. If he doesn't tell you this is my first wife, this is my second wife, you will never know. You may think it's a sister or the wife and the wife sisters. <laughs> and they are the kitchen cooking. Yesterday, look at the word that he used. He said, these are my able kitchen staff. My able kitchen staff. Never introduce them as wife. Why? Because this is business. I'm paying you. That's right. When you close, yes, 
you are my wife when you are in the house. But in business, forget about that. Let's do business. At the end of every month, I pay you. So to explain again why he did not introduce them as his wives, his beloved uh, group. That one I cannot explain because I'm not in here. She want me to explain why Shabazz did not introduce the uh, two wives as their wife, but he said, my kitchen staff. I would think that he was I, operating in his business capacity. Thank yeah. you, my brother. That's why. As, uh, in, so, a, in the so, capacity of a business. So, so, you, so you are only honored then at home? No, we're not saying honored. No, we're not saying that. I'm just trying to. Hey, no, we're not honor. saying that. What I, we're saying is we came there as a group, as a tour, and he's operating I as, understand. A, as a resort he, listen, manager. I understand, but he went back as the resort manager and captured all portions of the culture. He went back and exposed us to every piece of the culture he could imagine. And so if this is a job, part though. of the culture, That's part of his job, but if Oh, Lord, have mercy. Job, if this is a part of the culture, if having multiple wives is a part of the culture, why why sit that aside? Unless you're saying it's natural, it's normal, it's, 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 it's natural it's, 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 and normal. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. That's me. I'm not saying it's disrespectful. I'm saying it's still in the homes. History is interesting. It's always told from the perspective of the person who has the power. And the person who has the power, who tells history. I'm saying, I wonder what this would be like if I could go from the perspective of the wives. These are the men yeah. telling us how the wives feel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no yeah, wives have told us. These are the men telling well, us how I mean, the they wives... Live together, so they live together. I know together. both of them. They live, I like both of them. They live together, and I'm not saying they don't get along or even love each other. Let, let me tell you something. I'm just saying, if, if it ain't Brother Shabazz, is. This is not the real okay, story. You, if Shabazz is to go out, okay, this time around, this weekend, or holiday, Christmas, whatever, I'm going out with my wife. Shabazz, all the two wives, they will be with him. Exactly. Shabazz will never introduce them as my kitchen staff. No, of course no. not. He'll yeah, introduce them as wife. my wives. Because he's personal. Exactly. Personal business. Okay. So if he's going to introduce them as a kitchen staff, then that is wrong. But let me let me tell a story what he told me. Thank you, sir. I don't think he mind me sharing. He said he went to the beach because people was inviting him to the beach. And he would never go because he was afraid of what people may think. Yeah. He didn't want to make his wives uncomfortable. Uh -huh. So basically he was thinking in that regard. But they said, well, we would like to go. But they were also being invited as well. So he took them and he introduced them as his wives. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, hold on. Uh, there is a hand, a uh, long time. Yes, I saw your hand up. Oh, I'm, I'm listening. I was, I'm, I'm wondering because like Marcia said, Shabazz is told us the slaves were happy. They loved to work for the white man. They were happy. They didn't complain. So I think that many times and having spoken to some of the Ghanaian women, they don't necessarily like this. And they said they were married very young. The men are at least 20 years older than them when they come and take a wife. And American yes. men come here and, and marry these women when they're 14, 15, 16 years old. No, that's against the law. Okay, that's that is a, a different subject. I saw subject. a young girl Thank yesterday you. who was 16 and pregnant. Thank you. And married. That is, that is a, a different lecture. So you remind me, we'll talk about that one. On the okay. way back. On the way back. And then um, I'll tell you the reason why in the olden days and now uh, um, women are giving all uh, uh, let me put it this way. People married very young. I'll tell you. And you, I'll tell you, and you'll be amazed. Yes, sir. Yeah, I have one. Here's When they was going to crown him as a king, uh -huh. he said, it's impossible for you to crown me as a king. And you don't crown my wife as a queen. Uh -huh. It's a balance. It's not a it's king who is better than who. It's a it's a balance. It, negative can go without positive. positive. It, it, it's a balance. Yeah. It, it, it's not you are in charge and 
you play a certain role, the negative play a certain role, and the positive play a certain role. Thank you. So it's a king and a queen. Thank you. Thank you so we, much. We just want to be getting the American thing when we say love you, and it doesn't mean nothing. We don't say love you. But, but we don't behave that way. Yeah, we don't have no It's a behavior in. part of it. That's what you said. It's a behavior thing. That is why... Plus in, in Jewish community. Yeah. Girls married the moment they see their period. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. They are an adult. Yeah. They married in Jewish community. Yes. This is an adult. That, but, we, but we are linking marriage and sex so much. People may be married and they, at 16 and they don't have sex until they're maybe 20. But there are a lot of 16 year old pregnant in the American schools. We do a oh, martial at and no 16 and, and there's no problem. Yeah. There is prostitute on the road, maybe there's a lady who want to be a prostitute. Somebody might come and say, you can't afford another wife, let's take <laughs> off the road. Let, yeah. Let's, let's, we if, if, no if we are thinking like the American way, it is just waste time we think about the African way. It doesn't work. We tried for 200 years, it hasn't worked. It has to work, man. Parents and, 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 and this. Yeah, but, but I'm just saying that you are, I'm, we are not saying they are mature. We are saying hey, that, 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 that we are not saying that they are mature. Thank you. But they are not mature anywhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, they, so, they, we're not going to talk about the ec epidemics that are caused by not having these arrangements. Yeah. And so when it happens, it's just like, okay, well, we'll act like it didn't. So that's, that's the kind of atmosphere that we created in America. So we see young girls, 16, 15, 14, yeah. pregnant all the time. Yeah. No husband, no boyfriend, no, boyfriend. no nothing. So yeah. no. Let's, let's be honest. See, they have a husband. I, I, I you come to Chicago, I can show you thousands of girls. Should they have what? Two, three they kids by 21. Uh-huh. Now they ruin their chances of marriage. If they're going to have sex, they should have a husband. Why would you say 40, 40 years old? Huh? 40 years old. Why would a 40 year old man want? Desire a child. So you are, we are, we are, we are arguing the extreme of the situation. We are not arguing the reality. No. We are arguing the extreme. <laughs> no, no. Why would a, why, why, why would a grown man molest a kid? I don't know. <laughs> but so, we, so let's not argue they molest a kid. Or why yeah, would somebody can. come here and want to take away a 17 year old? Exactly. And why some men would only have one wife and some men have three wives? It, we are just saying that to have three wives, it shouldn't be a problem, an issue. Yeah. I might only like one wife. I maybe can't even manage one, one more than one wife. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that two wives is wrong. What should we just do? One it's wife and, yeah. two, and two okay. side chicks. Why we don't ask God why he make more women more than men? That way I can save more my money. Question God on that issue too. Say so why you make so much women if you don't want me to have two women? <laughs> you, you, you are forcing people to lie and be an hypocrite. Exactly. We can't have a wife and a girlfriend. We are, we are lying. We are just living around, walking around, lying. Now I get to shirk my man, responsibilities. I'm, I'm, I'm out for 35 years. I've never been to another woman. We are lying, man. We're just lying. Let's live so, real. So are you right. saying, yeah. are you saying yeah. that there is no, because you used the word, you said there is no promiscuity in God. Yeah. And I'm like, oh no. No, there are promiscuity. No, I, I never there said there's no promiscuity yeah. in Ghana. Yeah. What did you say? I said in the olden days, there was no, there that, was no, no promiscuity. Okay, let, let me put it this way. Less. What I was, uh, what I said is, in the olden days, yeah. they don't want yeah. promiscuity. They didn't want it. They don't want it. No. Well, yeah. nobody wants it. Yeah. So as a result of that, they knew that it can happen. Yes. And you don't want it. How do we fix that? As a result of that, so we give... Oh, let me, oh. I just have, I have a question. If this relationship with multiple wives is a deterrent to promiscuity, are you saying that those men with multiple wives never go outside that structure? Is that is that the truth? Yes, would that you, be would, the truth? you would. They would never, never go out. That's, that's they never most go outside. Never go most out. most men. Men. Now, I I hear you saying most, and I agree. Well, I don't agree some, with man. it, but I can accept that. But this no, this all this purity. Let, no, we don't no, say no, that. No, listen, not listen, that. listen to what that. I'm saying. Um, you you tackle one side and leave the other side. Yeah, what I'm saying is that. 
What I'm saying is that what about the women, that? The, the in women the olden days, out, okay. Well, that means the men needs to go out. <laughs> <laughs> I always say in the olden days. <laughs> That'd be fair, right? In the olden if days. You step out, I step out. And I keep on uh, emphasizing right on sure. in the yeah. olden days, okay. Uh, then I finished with the olden days, and I came on with modern days. Right. Yes. So you could, you should strike the difference. I understand. Yeah. Uh, you're spending much more time on the olden days, which leads me to believe that's your preference. You have to admit, no, no. You yeah. have to, you have to. When you are giving a commentary or you are talking about some, sometimes you need to relate. You educate the people. Yeah, related to what happened because in the, I had those to, days, I had to learn and how. then now what. The, what happened in the olden days, uh, the slaves and whatnot, is what we are also seeing now. Yes. So definitely you refer to it. Aha, uh -huh. that's, that's what I'm... It's the same in America. When my grandmother was 14, she was uh, married off to have babies. But her last husband was the It's never went well for American That's because women. they didn't have, yeah. they didn't get married. Yeah. They got married. Yeah. No, I'm talking about the other, the, you know, the, you the know, other marriages, yeah. the other women. When, when you go to Nigeria, Nigeria, when a woman is serving the husband with something, they hold it like this and bow. Yeah. Even in Ghana, some people also do. Muhammad, is it not? In, in Sierra Leone, they also. hold it like this and then bow. Yeah. They are recognizing the man as the head. The woman is the chief administrator of the house. What does an administrator do? We need to get this, we need to get this. So then they have to go to the finance minister. Can we get money for us to go and purchase this and purchase this? She also has a very big role to play that covers even the man more than the man what the man does but if you take it from the one uh, a certain point short point of view you may think the man is domineering but rather it is the women who are more domineering than the man yeah we don't mind that part i mean yeah that's not a problem Most you know you know sometimes when i wear a shirt my wife would tell me no 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 yeah. Man, she has never put on a dress. I'll say no, 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 Gwen Chi. Yeah, <laughs> so, no, 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 no. I don't want you to go out with this. Yeah. This and this doesn't match. Doesn't match man. So please, Gwen Chi. She's administrated. I have yeah. nothing to say. Finally, I have to Gwen Chi. Yeah. My madam said yeah. I should change. I have to Gwen Chi. <laughs> if I go with this, when I come, there will be fire. Yeah. Quietly, I have to go yeah. and change. And then, and then when you go out and you get compliments on how you dress, yeah. that makes you refer to her even more. Of exactly. Ask people compliment. Oh, wow, my your dress looks it. nice. My wife chooses. You are giving her the credits, yeah, exactly. not me. The credit goes to her. So people will see her. So wow, I saw your husband. He dressed neat. So thank you. She always said, oh, it is my husband who dressed like that. I don't know anything about that. No. So the compliment every day goes to them. Yeah. yeah. So um, there have been so many questions and answers. Uh, let me let me just move to uh, what you said about marrying young girls. And then I also go back and then to the olden days that in the olden days if one person is well to do in the family yep. everybody would like to let the son or the daughter go and stay with this person for the person to take care of him or her two you also learn that person's business. So you go through apprenticeship because that person has money, he's a big man, people know him, and 
If you are staying with a rich man, what happened? Some of the richness will drop on you. Definitely. Right. Definitely. So as a girl goes there to learn and study through apprenticeship, the parents doesn't want this girl to be ordinary in society. <laughs> ordinary means being there for a long time without someone coming to say, hey lady, I lo love you, I want to marry you. In those days, as a man or as a boy growing, you cannot pick a woman yourself, no. It is never done. It is just in modern terms. It is the duty of my parents, my mother and father, who have the foresight, who know so much about that lady's family, then they will recommend and then the two parents will meet and discuss about me and her. Okay? Then they will connect both of us together. How do they do it? They can, my parents can buy a dress, ladies dress or shoe or necklace or whatever. Give it to me to go and give it to that lady. I'll go to their house and knock. My parents said I should bring this thing to you. Her parents will buy something and then tell her to bring it to me. She will come and bring it to me. They are connecting us. It starts with gifts. Then one day, my parents were sitting me down. Do you know this person? So, yeah, I, yeah, I know her. The one that I gave you this thing to go and give it to. I said, yes, okay. Uh, think about it, I'll call you another time. Your parents will call you at between 4 a.m. maybe up to 6 a.m. early in the morning. Then they are drawing something into your mind. Her parents also will do the same. Later they will tell you that now you are of age, you need to make babies. Maybe. You need to get your own family. Right. As a result of that, I want you to marry this lady. You cannot say no. She cannot say yes. Because your parents know the right thing for you. You cannot choose who you want to marry in those days. No. Why? Because they are marrying from a certain family that they know the family are not thieves. They are not criminals. They, they don't have any... Uh, uh, disease that when you give birth it will affect their grandchildren they don't want any of their grandchildren to be pointed out said that is that the, this guy from their criminal family yep. everybody wants something good for his or her children good stuff as a result of that they will connect both of you right now after connecting you and then they still find out that in the next house, there is someone there. She is growing, and no one is taken care of. The society is so much aggrieved for that person, nobody taking care of. Such a brilliant person, such a great person. As a result of that, they will look for someone within the community or outside the community who can cater for this girl the young boys are coming they are not working even if they are working they are working with their father at home they are not well to do they cannot cater for that girl as a result of that let's look for someone who can cater for this girl as a result of that they look for someone and you, the person who is going to cater for this girl, you have to start from a certain level, wherever the girl is, any age. And then you provide the girl's needs. Take her to school, take her to learn a trade, give her money. You don't have any sexual relationship with her, no. She is not of age. Until she is of age, 
while she's growing, the parents normally teach her or tell her that in the near future, this person is going to be your husband. In the near future, this person is going to keep, be your husband. And sometimes when the man brings the gift, in front of the parents, they call the girl and then hand it over to the girl. Although the parents are there. So already I've been brainwashed that there's someone, or people are looking for husbands, but you are so fortunate that if you come of age, you already have a husband. It's like this. There are some professions when you come out or you graduate from school, it is difficult for you to get a job. Uh, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. 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 I'